Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the Hourglass Caramel Skin Tone Corset with a Black Chantilly Lace Applique, and this is made by Timeless Trends. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. The Caramel Corset is part of their 2016 skin tone range. So in response to many requests to have more corsets out there uh, on the market that uh, suit more than one type of nude skin tone, uh, Timeless Trends released seven in total. So in addition to the sand beige corset that they had before, which was their original nude um, and is now called the Latte Corset, uh, they have three corsets that are lighter than that, which is the Cream Cotton, the Vanilla, and the Butterscotch, and three corsets that are deeper than that, which is the Caramel that you see here, uh, and also the Cinnamon and the Chocolate. So the Caramel that I'm wearing today is probably closest to my winter complexion, uh, but back when I was working outdoors all summer and I got super tanned, I would probably be a little bit closer to the Cinnamon. I decided to review the style with the lace because I think it is really gorgeous, this black Chantilly lace, but uh, the skin tone range comes in completely plain if you if you want it plain, or it comes with the lace option depending on what you like better. The skin tone range is useful for a few different things. So for instance, if you don't like to wear your corset on the outside of your clothing, you always stealth it underneath your clothing. It's great to have a corset that closely matches your skin tone, your, your complexion, because um, it, some people don't like the situation where they might be wearing a, a beige bra and then a black corset underneath uh, their clothing. They might be wearing like a white work shirt and you can see that uh, difference in the skin tone underneath. And of course, if you have a darker skin tone and you don't like the fact that most nudes out there are far too uh, light or creamy for your complexion, then you can get one that matches your skin tone a little bit better. And one example of using skin tone corsets uh, on the outside of your clothing is, for instance, uh, costumes and conventions. Uh, say you have a convention and it's still kind of cold outside, or you want a Halloween costume, uh, and you're cosplaying somebody that has a bare midriff. For instance, if I wanted to cosplay as Princess Jasmine, I don't have like the natural cartoon, like super hourglass shape, but I would be able to pull it off in a corset like this. So I'd be able to wear this corset and it would closely match my skin tone. I can go outside, I'm not gonna be quite so cold. Uh, I can go to conventions and I don't have to worry about being poked by strangers or anything like that um, and it would kind of go a little bit better with my whole outfit if it matches my skin tone a little bit better so I can definitely see myself doing that in the future uh, for different types of conventions so onto the stats for this corset this is the standard length hourglass so the center front is 11 and a half inches uh, the princess seam here is about nine and a half inches side seam is nine inches and in the center back, it is 12 and a half inches long. In terms of the circumferential measurements, today I'm wearing the size 24 corset, so it is 24 inches closed in the waist. Uh, the rib cage is 30 and a half inches, so it has a 6.5 inch rib spring. And the high hip here has a 10 inch hip spring, so it's 34 inches. And just like with the other Thomas Trends Hourglass corsets, it is gently rounded in the rib cage. So if you have protruding ribs, or if you have slightly more rigid ribs that don't compress easily in a conical style corset, this would be more comfortable for you. And then it kind of shoots out at the hip in a, in a, a ski slope kind of manner, um, so it's not going to compress you your iliac crest and actually it stops just above my iliac crest my my uh, iliac crest my hip bone is right there so here's a corset laid flat and for the materials just like with all of timeless trends corsets it's three main layers uh, the fashion fabric like I said before is the caramel skin tone this is a poly blend but if you go with the cream that's actually 100% cotton I believe all the other skin tone colors are a, a synthetic blend um, on the inside it has an interlining of cotton and also a lining of black cotton twill here Here's what the Timeless Trends label looks like, and it has uh, the fiber content on the back and the cleaning instructions, uh, the size, and the country of manufacture. As per usual, the corset has a six panel pattern. One, two, three makes the front, four, five, six makes the back. Uh, to give a little bit of roundness in the rib cage in the front here, you can see that the second panel is almost like a, a champagne flute uh, shape. And then a lot of the ease for the hip is between panels three and four. And then in the back, there's a little bit more ease uh, in panel five and six for the back. 
and this corset is constructed using the sandwich method so the bones are sandwiched in between multiple layers of fabric and turning to the inside you might be able to see the outline of the waist tape it's one inch wide twill tape and it's a full uh, waist tape running from the center front by the busk here all the way to the center back at the grommets so here's a close-up of the binding and you can see that it's made from a uh, black satin and uh, the skin tone corsets with the Chantilly lace here uh, these have the black binding but if you just get the plain skin tone corsets it will have a binding that matches it's the same fabric as uh, as the rest of the corset here and here is uh, a close-up of the lace so it's actually machine sewn around the edges and it's also anchored down at the boning channels here and you can see it's this kind of like eyelash lace. There's no glue in the application of this. Uh, it's a little bit delicate, so I would not recommend putting this lace near anything like Velcro or anything sharp that might catch or hook onto it and pull the lace. However, this fabric and the other skin tone fabrics uh, are fairly abrasion resistant. So if you are going to be running around and if you do tend to brush up against uh, sharp things or, or abrasive things, uh, then just getting the regular skin tone corset would probably survive pretty well. And in the hourglass corsets, there are six garter tabs, three on each side. But if you go for the gentle uh, silhouette corsets, those only have four garter tabs, two on each side. And the Timeless Trends underbust corsets don't come with a modesty panel by default. The overbust corsets do come with an attached modesty panel. Uh, but if you want a modesty panel, they can be purchased separately. However, all of the corsets in the hourglass and Gemini lines do have a half inch wide modesty placket in the front. The busks used in the standard length underbusts are 10 inches long. The flat bones beside the busk, the, the ones uh, adjacent to the busk supporting it are a little bit longer. They're about 11 inches long so that you don't get any uh, flapping in the center front here. But the really cool thing about these skin tone courses is that for the three darker uh, shades, they actually used uh, darker busks. So you can see that the busk here is actually more of an antique brass finish uh, instead of the regular silver busks. So that's nice touch. The bronze matches much better with the, the cinnamon and the chocolate skin tone uh, corsets. There are 26 bones in this corset, not including the front busk here. So on each side, you can see that it's double bone with spirals on the seams, two, four, six, eight, ten. And then there are another three flat steel bones on each side. Uh, two of them are sandwiching the grommets here, and another one is adjacent to the busk. Here's a close-up of the grommets. There are 28 of them, 14 on each side. They are size zero with a small to medium flange around them and finished in this sort of darker silver pewter color. Uh, they're equidistantly spaced and they all seem to be holding in very well. And here's the underside where you can see the washers. They all seem to be holding in very well. Uh, I don't really see any splits. They don't uh, catch on the laces. The, the laces glide through the grommets quite well. Um, the laces in this corset it's a half inch wide single faced satin ribbon and uh, this one's finished in black but if you get one of the regular uh, just plain skin tone corsets without the black lace then it would be a beige colored ribbon instead. Um, single faced satin ribbon is not my favorite. I prefer double faced satin ribbon. Uh, if this gets annoying to me uh, then I can just simply replace it with just some flat shoelace style lacing. But this one is holding up fine so far. Uh, I like ribbon because it is uh, a little bit smoother and flatter under clothing. You don't see as much of the bump of the laces underneath clothing compared to uh, the, the shoelace style laces. They are more slippery so some people may prefer that uh, because it glides through the grommets quite easily while others might prefer the shoelace styles with more friction because that might help keep the corset closed more easily for them. Most of the skin tone corsets are stocked in waist sizes 18 up to 36, but the more popular colors will have their sizes expanded all the way up to a closed waist size of 42 inches. And whether you like the plain version of the skin tone corsets or uh, the style with the Chantilly lace, it costs the same at $99 US. And this concludes my showcase of the caramel skin tone corset with the black Chantilly lace applique here made by Timeless Trends. I hope you liked this video and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that thumbs up button as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any and all questions about it. And if you have one of the skin tone courses, let me know how you like it in a comment down below as well. And I will see you all next time for another video. Bye.